Okay, so this is just a quick video to go over all of the uh, control cables, push-pull controls, how each of them were mounted and where they terminate and all of that. So previously I talked about this uh, control block assembly, which is an offset because the panel has been tilted forward at a 30 degree angle. And if I had not put this control block in here, then I'd have my controls running up and down like this. So I wanted to have the controls set so that they would be at a right angle to the pilot, which would make more sense. This was created using SolidWorks, which is a CAD program that the Experimental Aircraft Association provides. It's a free software program. And then I just sent it off to a CNC company and they created that out of billet aluminum. So what we got here, this is the push-pull for the throttle. This is the veneer control for the propeller and we've got the mixture control both are veneers these two controls are threaded so if you look at this one this has uh, threads already in the forward part of the control and so I had the block also tapped so that these would thread in and used permanent Loctite to hold those in place. There's also a giant jam nut on the back of these as well. The only other push-pull controls I have are going to be parking brake, cabin heat, and alt air. If you look in here, you can see this is the parking brake. And so it was routed, the control cable was routed this way, and then over here to this side-mounted fixture that I installed for these push-pull control knobs. Firewall penetrations are little eyeball type of deals to keep the cables going in the correct direction, keeps the cables from binding. There's one over here. This one's for the uh, cabin heat. This is the cabin heat opening here. So on the engine side of the firewall, if we look down in here, we see where these cables exit. This top one is for the throttle. This one below it is for the propeller. And this one's for the alt air. I've got one all the way back here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's for your mixture. And then there's one here in the front here. That one is for the cabin heat. And that goes this is the cabin heat door. So the heat muff comes in through here. If you want cabin heat, open that. Gets the heat inside, close it. I put this shroud on here so that when air is not going into the cabin, it will actually push it down and out the tunnel as opposed to just actually it would be blowing it right over towards the oil cooler. So. Here's where the alt air cable terminates on the alt air door, which is spring loaded. We've got the throttle cable assembly here and the throttle cable bracket with the jam nuts and all that's been installed. This is the prop control cable. You can see that bracket here and then it comes up and terminates at the prop governor and then finally this is the mixture control cable to the bracket and then to the mixture control arm on the fuel controller okay so that wasn't a very long video but a lot of people have been asking about the control cables especially that offset control block so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and we'll get another video out soon next video we'll be talking about the carbon fiber frame for the doors and uh, how I customize that to work for the Bearhawk. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.